Ah, oh, thank you. I was enjoying myself, and I'm glad you were enjoying that music as well. It's right on time, and if we're going to do anything tonight, we're going to start on time. I promised my team that if they weren't here on time, I would be having words with them, and look, they're all here. One of them only just, you noticed. One of them only just. But that's great. Thank you for having us here at Memorial Church tonight. Just a word about our context. The three Kurenbong churches decided a few months ago they'd love to do a regional meeting and have all kinds of things in all of our three churches, Gateway and Memorial and University Church. So uh, Memorial Church drew the short straw for planning something for Friday evening. And when uh, I heard about that from Pastor Steve and then heard about it from my friend Rosalie, who's uh, that naughty lady right up there, second in from the end, she said, what do you think if we tried a praise hymn, which is something the Institute of Worship has been doing for quite a while now? So uh, we began to go to work and thought, yes, we think we will. And uh, here we are tonight. Praise Him has almost become a signature idea for the Institute of Worship. It's been celebrated in big churches, small churches, in tents. What is it about Adventists and tents? Anyway, we do that all around the division and we've had some fun praise uh, Him occasions uh, even in those tents. But uh, we think this is a much nicer environment. We're really glad to be here. Uh, with you at Memorial Church. And our aim is to have a really informal, friendly family evening. We want you to imagine that you're gathered right around the piano. We went to a whole lot of trouble to move a few pews to create sort of the around the piano idea. I don't know what happened, Valme, over there. Those seats weren't regarded as, as precious. I thought they were the best seats. But, but you, could still, you could still try over there, um, but uh, we've got plenty of you in view, so we're going to have a fun, uh, and I hope a really inspiring time tonight. Uh, I wanted to show you what singing around the piano looked like when I was a kid, and I think we've got uh, something to show. Yes, that's what, that's what it looked like. We weren't always um, dressed up that fancy, and sometimes we weren't all together happy to be summoned, if there were other things we wanted to be doing, but on a good Friday night, that was us. My dad, Vern, Mum, Edna, and my sister, Vonda, and brother, Jeff. Um, I was thinking about that when we were trying to plan the family evening around the piano kind of feel here, and we came in, we did a lot of work here during the week, and I sat down and thought about this church and I realised if there's ever a church that spells family for me, it probably is this one. And here's why. Look at my grandpa, Ferris, who came in from missionary service in the Pacific, and he made this church his family home church only about 30 years after it was built. The old church, way back in the day. And his missionary children came backwards and forwards here for decades. I remember coming here as a little boy, always came to church at Avondale Memorial. My mother Edna was baptised here and she went to school in the back room of that old white church. Um, she was one of the first young ladies that got to the end of high school. When that school started, it was um, take it easy and we'll do primary if we can. By the time she got there, they were just finishing high school. She got married here in this old church. And she looked pretty beautiful. Dad didn't look too bad. Um, just over 30 years later, her daughter, Vonda, was married here. This was this very church. Brand new then. Um, that was a big family celebration. And would you believe it? Mum saw her grandson, Leighton, graduate here. That was the year the auto was in ruins and had to be refurbished. So uh, you were really kind down here and down came graduation for the whole weekend. So um, you add up all those memories, they're pretty special. I wanted to show you the last one, it's a bit sad. But we said goodbye to mother here at a funeral service in 2006. So it's a really deeply family place for our clan and we're just so glad to be here with you. 
We want you to uh, have a really enjoyable time. Try and imagine the, the pianos in your lounge room. These seats are really nice, but among the nicest seats around for going to church in Kurenbong. But try and think of them as lounge chairs tonight. OK, so we're going to make a start. We're going to extend the family feeling. Um, my friend Rosalie is going to tell you who the singers are. You, many of you will know many of them, but Rosalie, tell us who the singers are. We'll start on my left, Rabina Townend. She's joining us. On my right, Gaylene Heiss. Then we have Barry um, Hill. And then we have Ian Watts. No, I think it's Neil Watts. Neil. E Watts Ian's sorry. close, but yeah. <laughs> Neil's better. I never was good with names. You just ask people. Uh, Kevin Petrie and Jennifer Petrie, and Mosley, and Diane Hope, Leon Hilda, and our guest for the night, Albert Matafa. You're in for a treat, folks, when you hear that voice. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Rosalie. And Rosalie's done a lot of work helping us get uh, praise him together for tonight. Let me tell you about Albert. I had a talk to his school principal this week. Albert works in Adventist education. He's in student services at uh, Carlisle Adventist College in Mackay in Queensland. It's an up and coming, uh, one of the up and coming Adventist high schools in, uh, in our uh, Adventist presence here in Australia. And I promised his principal if he let me come down, I would put in a good word for Carlisle College, Adventist education. Uh, we're all pretty hooked on Adventist education here anyway, I think, aren't we? Most of us wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that uh, fantastic thing that our church does so well. So welcome, Albert. Glad to have you here. You're among friends, who, some of whom are here particularly for not much other reason but to hear your songs, Albert. No pressure, no pressure. It's time we started formally, and uh, I've asked Pastor Letitia, who is uh, on the pastoral staff here at Memorial, to uh, lead us in a word of prayer as we begin what we really want to be like Friday night family worship. So thank you, Letitia. Thank you, Lyle. I just want to in, uh, welcome you all again here tonight, and uh, it's wonderful to have you all with us, and I just would like to invite you just to bow your heads as we have a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we are grateful to be here uh, together to worship and to connect with you and connect with one another. We pray and ask that in all that we do tonight that we will see the beauty of who you are, that we will see your grace, your love, and your compassion for us, and that we'll be able to experience that and extend that to the people around us. May this be a time rich in blessing, in beauty, and just a time of remembering both the past and the present as we worship together. Um, and may we be drawn closer to you, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. There are some very special people in our family tonight, maybe nearly as many of them as there are us sitting here, and that's the really special people, uh, residents of Adventist Senior Living and the Avondale Retirement Village Complex. Many of you are watching now, and thanks, Wayne, for getting a signal over there, and thanks to all of you who are joining us um, online uh, at, uh, on your television sets over there. We did a little, just a little while ago, we did a little bit of really important research over there, and we found some very special people who are much closer to 100 years of age than any other number you can think of. Uh, we found, for example, Val Lemke over there. She's only 94. She's the youngest person that we canvassed for a favourite hymn, but she came up with one very quickly. Uh, Val, we love you. Uh, greetings to you. We know that you're watching. We've got uh, your favourite hymn, What a Wonderful Saviour is Jesus, My Jesus. And uh, we're going to invite you all to sing, Sp spare a special thought for Val, who's been through grief in the last couple of years, as we know, with the loss of her son, but we share a fantastic hope. And so here's to you, Val, and we're going to do our best with your lovely hymn. 
Christ has for sin atonement made. Let's hear you sing now. Thank you. We're off to a great start. Thanks again, Val, for your lovely contribution. Here's an idea to focus us on the songs that we're going to sing next, because we have no idea what they are. They are sitting somewhere in your subconscious, just waiting to emerge. And here's how we're going to help your songs emerge. I searched the SDA hymnal the other day for hymns that mention the word song or singing. And I thought, that's a challenge I'm going to take to praise him on Friday night. I found 11 without even thinking very long, but I'm not going to show you my list. We want to hear from you, okay? And we've got a pretty good idea where you all are. And my colleague Valme is going to talk to you in just a moment. But here's what we want you to do. To come up with a hymn that mentions the word song or sing or singing. Because that's kind of the signature thing that we're doing tonight. Doesn't have to be in the title. Those of you who have got photographic memories... And you know that the third verse and the fourth line and the fifth subtitle is the word song. I'd like to hear about it. Okay? So you can search your memories. You can search um, your, your Christian experience for songs that have really meant a lot to you. We're going to be telling, in fact, the story of Jesus throughout the evening. Um, and so... Um, the chance to sing it as well is just extra special. We're going to come to the word story a bit later, but for now it's sing, song or singing. Valme, why don't you have a conversation with our, with our eager beaver crew here and see what we can find from them. Part of the idea is to include you in your favourites. What I'm loving is that, Lyle, there's some hands up already. Isn't oh, that excellent. awesome? Now, oh, there's more than I'm going to need. But don't take um, fright. We've actually got four sections where you can have your favourites. So there's more coming if you miss out on this first round. Um, you'll need to call out quite loudly your favourites. Um, wake the song. Wake the wake song. The song. Who was that who said, wake the song? You and I must be on the very same page because that's the first song on my list. So there you go. Donna. Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing a new song. Oh, that's a minor key, isn't it? Was that Donna? You can trust Donna to give us something a bit tricky, Valme. Yes, but now that's there's, good. there's a, a norm. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Good. We're doing well. Um, I, I want one more. We've got um, four. There's someone right down. Oh, no, she's. We'll come back to you next time. Oh, thou in whose presence? Oh, thou in whose presence? 
That's a beautiful one. That's the one. Did I hear right? Yes. Now, don't take fright if you've miss, missed out because um, you will get more chance to, to have your say. Um, but from this point on, we are, haven't got time to sing every one of these, so we're going to take a vote. Okay, I need, when I call out the names that are written down, I need you to hold your hands up and please keep them up until I... Only, only one vote, folks. Don't vote Yes, don't time. wait till the fourth time. I mean, you know, one vote for each one, so... Tell us the list again. Wake the song. Sing a new song. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. And O oh, Thou in Whose Presence. So there's your melody or tune. All right, can I please have hands for Wake the Song, including the singers, please. Put your hand up if that's one of your favourite for the, of the four. Keep them up, please. Thank you. Okay. Next one, sing a new song. This is a great song. Okay, you might be a bit of an orphan on that one, Donna, but it's all right. No, she, she's fine. Yeah. Okay, sing the, sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Keep your hands up, please. There's many to count. Thank you. And the last one, O oh, Thou in Whose Presence. Oh, it goes on, uh, my soul takes delight on whom in affliction I call. Okay, what have you got, Belmay? And so with an overwhelming majority, <laughs> no surprise, sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Okay, it might have to be more than one stanza. We might try the first couple, Steve. thing about this process is that whoever chose that feels good because they got their choice and whoever voted for it feels pretty good. I don't think anybody will be feeling bad after that, Valmay. Okay, now um, what were we going to do? Oh, we, we're wondering, look, there, there is time for the second one on your list, but only if it matches one on my list, Valmay. So what was your next hymn? Um, sing a New Song was the second. Sing a New Song was the second. Do you guys know this one? 
Okay, Donna, we're going to honour your courage and your musicianship. It's, I think, number 30-something in the book. 33. And this will actually be very good, Valmay. This will mean that even people that have never heard this are going to go away with one more hymn that they know. Um, so I'll tell you what, most of you guys know this one? Yep. Okay, so we're going to start in with the first stanza. Sing along if you know it, and then we'll stop and take a breath and uh, decide what we're going to do next. But you've already heard the first line a couple of times. Here it is again. Here we go. Sing a new song to the Lord. He to whom wonders belong. Rejoice in his triumph and tell of his power. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Let's try the next. try the last stanza, Steve, because um, it's just one of these fabulous hymns that summons all the powers of nature to sing. So we're joining with the hills and the sea, bringing judgment and justice and truth to the earth. Sounds like a really good mission. Excellent. Oh, Donna, you really did us proud. That's great. Um, Valma, we've only got, uh, we must press on. We've got another word, and this word uh, this time is story. And as Albert begins to sing his songs, you'll realise why story is such a, a precious idea. He's leading us right through the story of Jesus. Now, think about the word story. I've got a pretty good list here too, not just in the title, but think of some of the verses of hymns that you love. And let's see what we can find, Valmay. Um, going to wander down towards the back so they're not feeling like they're missing out. Over this side, please. Back. Blessed, assur Blessed Assurance. Oh, yeah, with the chorus. This is my... Good. All right, while I'm down the back, story. Any, anyone it? else? Tell me the story of Jesus. Uh -huh. Good. We can take four. I think four There's is a two, pretty good tally. Two to, more. Anyone else? Any over more the side? stories? Yes, please. I love to tell a story. There's, these are all great, aren't they? Reckon there's one more in our congregation? I reckon there probably is. We might even let the singers have a go. Have you got a story? Anyone's for, any ideas from the singers that you'd like to add? Maybe they've stolen all the big item numbers. <laughs> there's one over here. There you go, wake the song. Wake the song, that, that's a man after my own heart. He knows the obscure words of the second verse. Good. So we'd think about that when you vote. You might like to honour his courage. But you're, you're ready to take a vote now, aren't you? What was the first one? The first one's Blessed Assurance. All right, hands up for Blessed Assurance.
good. Thank you. Um, I love to tell the story. Somebody likes my phone too, and they're wanting to tell me a story. I'm pushing, okay. I'm pushing so many buttons here that I've lost the page. Um, yeah. It was... Um, was it Wake the Song? Tell me the story of Jesus. Oh, tell me, yep. Wake the Song. Wake the song. You That's quite this popular, yes. Okay. Blessed Assurance, Lyle. Blessed Bryan. Assurance wins out. By a out. long way. Okay. This is a great, this is, I think it's a Fanny Crosby hymn. Isn't it? We've got another one of hers to sing toward the end. Blessed assurance. Okay, let's get a nice big sound. Would you like to share some of your list with us? Because some of the ones that were offered to me are on your list as well. Oh, okay. I had tell me the story of Jesus. Tell me the old, old story. I had tell it to every kindred and nation. In the cross of Christ I glory, towering o'er the wrecks of time. All the light of sacred story gathers round its head Sublime. You remember that hymn? Okay. I will sing of my Redeemer. I love to tell the story. That was my list. So what have we got? Well, we've, we've Some of those overlap, don't yes. they? Yes. Do you want to sing any one of those? Yeah, ones? we'll sing one. Well, would, well, the second one was I love to tell the story. I love to tell the story. Okay. Let's have that. You're doing so well up there on these graphics, Steve. I love to tell this. What key is that? Well, if we could check. We G. could have a look in the book. I don't want to make you go too far up in the air. Okay, that's... Let's do first and last, Steve. Here we go. Yeah. 
love the idea of the last verse is that you never get tired of this story. And I love uh, what the poet has done with this. She says, I love to tell the story because even those who know it best seem hungering and thirsting to hear it like the rest. Isn't the gospel just like that? I can never hear enough of the gospel. We can never hear the story told too many times. I love to tell the story. Stanza four. Such a great story of Jesus and his love. So it's time to hear from Albert Mata'apa. He'll be singing four beautiful songs this evening that expose us to the whole impact of the story of Jesus from beginning to end. He's beginning at the very beginning with the question that is asked of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary, did you know? Oh, man. 
I did another word search in the hymnal, this time on the word love. And what I thought we would look for is hymns that mention God's love for us or that mention our love for him. Uh, this was pretty easy, I thought. I came up with 12 straight away. But again, uh, I'm really more interested in your list initially than mine. So, Valmay, let's get four hymns and, uh, and then we'll decide which uh, and how many of them we'll have time to sing. Love. I'm moving back here because this lady promised me earlier that she was going to give me a hymn on love. Do you know any with the word love in? Because you can escape if you want. There's plenty more hands. All right, no problem. Um, there was a hand down here, Pastor. We missed, we missed someone down the front. Have you, have you got a hymn in mind? For Okay, so he, I promised my friend in the very next to front row. My Jesus, I love thee is the first. Oh, okay, that's good, yep. The love of God, that is greater far. Look, let's, we, we can do it. It's not in the hymnal which means that the words aren't here, but I love that hymn. So we'll put it in the vote, Valmay, and we'll line out the words if we need to. And I think, therefore, we could ask for five. We've got plenty of hands up, so oh, okay. let's ask for Good. five favourites. All right. Over this side. Call out big. Oh, love that will not let me go. Yes, I love it. Good. I'm now looking, I'm coming down here because I've had several um, male offers here, so I'm getting a lovely lady to give me her choice. Tis love that makes us happy. Tis love that makes us happy. Yeah, that's made it all the way through to the hymn book. I think they were singing that when Ellen White went to Sabbath school. But it's survived right through into the hymn book. That's the one. That's the one. Good. I'm coming through here, excuse me. Let's go over this side and hands up. I saw some hands. Rose, what would you like to add? Love divine or love's excelling. Okay. They're great selection, Valmay. I wish we could sing them all, but... Well, uh, we've, we might be able to sing quite a few um, let's, let's as we go, but it's, t it's now time for voting, folks. Okay. First one, my Jesus, I love thee. Hands up if that's the favourite in this group. No. Oh, yeah, that was Jesus, keep me near the cross. Yeah. Oh, you've got to get some votes from here. Yes, yep. I've got them. Thank, thank you. The love of God. Yeah, now we can do this. Don't be yes. put off. Oh, love that will not let me go. Yeah. Love that makes us happy. Oh, that's a right Sabbath one, school it? song, yeah. Love divine, love is ex or excelling. Which tune did Rose have in mind? She, she should sing it to us. I'd yeah. Well, I forget which one I played. That one. That one? That one. Okay, hands up everyone for this favourite. Oh, Lyle, this is really close. We might uh, have to okay, sing a well, few. Okay, well, let's... We've got a smart guy there. We can sing one verse of uh, 
of more than one. Um, our love that will not let me go was certainly the number one okay. in the group. All right, so and we'll do that. All the other four are all were, close. Were within two marks. Two oh points. wow! Okay. Well, let's let's sing. Oh, love, love that will not let me go. What number does that turn up as, Steve? Because there's a chord there that I really don't want to play wrong. So I'm going to look the book up for this one. Has he got it? Oh, love that will not let me go. Someone know the number? 76. 76, okay. Because it's not coming up on my screen. Have you got it or I've got it? Okay. All right. Good. This, this is a fabulous song. One of my... If, if a funeral can have a bittersweet memory, one of my very dear friends um, died. We went to her funeral and Rick Ferre and his quartet, Kevin, were you in it then? Mate, I think you weren't in it then, sang this a fabulous version of Oh Love That Will Not Let Me Go. So um, we're, we're going to actually have two verses of this one, Steve, one and two. Thank you. Just love that song. So, Valme, what do you... you um, Pastor Harker, call. you'll yeah. be very pleased to know that your um, favourite is the second. My Jesus, I love thee. My Jesus, I love thee. Three, two, one. Yeah. Now, do you know what we're going to do on this one? This has lovely harmony. I'm going to get you launched. And, folks, you don't need a piano for this one. My Jesus, I love thee. Let's sing. I can't even bear to look at the time, but I think we're going to have one more well. from that We're list. doing well. Yeah. Um, could we do the love of God? It's the next on the list. Yeah. Can we do a verse? Okay. Now, let's the... try this. Those, uh, there's lots of old timers here I can see, and I'm sure this is in your subconscious. The love of God is greater far than tongue or pen could ever tell. It goes beyond the highest star 
and reaches to where? The lowest hell. Now, we've got this thing about Adam and Eve. The guilty pair bowed down with care. God gave his son to win. His erring child he reconciled and pardoned from his sin. And then the chorus, O oh love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong, it shall forevermore endure. Endure the saints and angels' song. That's a lot of stuff, but I can see some of my friends of mouthing all the words with me. You're pretty, pretty good on this one, guys. I'll call out a few key words. Here we go. The love of God. The love of God is greater than tongue or death. It goes beyond. It goes beyond. The highest star. The highest star. And reaches to the lowest got a bit distracted there. The, these guys have tried so hard to find it. We haven't got the one that we know. So um, what are we going to do? We got lost the the airing, the the Adam and Eve. What's that little phrase that goes? The airing. Yeah, be, before that. It's funny, isn't it, how you get distracted. Pair. I really want to do this. The guilty pair bowed down with care. God gave his son. Can you start the guilty pair bowed down with care? We'll be right once we get going on that. These guilty pair, they've, they've landed us in trouble, haven't they? The guilty pair, here we go. One. The guilty pair bowed down with care. God gave his son. His erring child. And pardon. Now we're into the chorus, O oh, love of God. Oh, Measureless. It shall forever. We did really well, and we got your song. I'm sorry we got lost with the guilty pair, but we got them reconciled, so that was good. Lyle has done a lot of research on um, some of these hymns, so I'm actually going to share some of the ones that he found. Uh, Tell me the story of Jesus. Love paid the ransom for me. I will sing of Jesus' love. Uh, All that thrills my soul. Love of Christ so freely given. Jesus loves me. Love hey, Divine. Hey, Love Divine, that yes. was Roses, wasn't it? Yes, uh, and I think it was I yours inter- too. So I think, let hmm? me finish the, the oh, okay. uh, list and yep. then let's sing that one again. Uh, tell me the old, old story of Jesus and his love. The King of love, my shepherd, is amazing love. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. Softly and tenderly think of the wonderful love he has promised. My Jesus, I love thee. And sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Um, Lyle, the love divine you have here in bold type. Yeah, that's, so be, that's because I knew it was Rose's favourite, oh, I'm sure. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. So let's try love divine or love... Zik. There's, there's a, some beautifully different uh, tunes for this one, but I think Rose and I are on the same page. So let's do this. Jesus. 
Okay, now we're going to go to the last verse. Again, on some of these hymns with lots of verses, they take a lovely journey and it's really sad to miss them out. But we are at the end of the story here. Finish thy new creation, pure and spotless let us be. Suddenly return. It's, it's the hope of the advent. So let's uh, enjoy this one. It's uh, time for Albert to offer a reflection on what a father's love is really like. Was 
Thank you, Albert. That's a father's love. We're coming now to singing some songs of Christian experience. This is the way Christians apply the story of Jesus to their lives. What does his birth mean? What does his, his, his life of love and unselfishness mean? What does his coming again mean in terms of the way we live our lives right now? Gospel songs have really majored in songs of Christian experience. Um, and often they're the ones that we love the most. It's really important for worship leaders planning hymns and songs to combine two kinds of songs. One which express unbridled adoration, love and devotion to God, describing God's qualities and God's power and God's work in the earth. And the other is to sing the way in which our lives respond to that. Can you see how if you got those out of balance, you could very well finish up thinking Christian life was nothing but a recitation of my troubles and sorrows during the week and not really a celebration of the power of the great God that we serve. So we love gospel songs, uh, they're mostly the, the hymns in our hymn book, probably the biggest section would be gospel songs. And we found three lovely songs of Christian experience, but we got them again with the survey over in Adventist Senior Living. And we've put them together in a medley so we can honour the requests of these people. Olwen Thompson over there is a mere 102 years old. And she teamed up with a much younger person, Evelyn Sproul. She's only 94. But they shared their favourite hymn, which is Trust and Obey. You know... So we're going to enjoy that one. Uh, that's a choice of Olwen and Evelyn. Then we're going to add another song, Wanda. Now, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, and I don't want to get it wrong, but it's spelled H-E-R-M-E-S. Hermes? Okay. Wanda, we're glad that you're watching over the way as well. And her favourite is Anywhere With Jesus I Can Safely Go. Fantastic song of Christian assurance. Uh, and Betty Nixon, who is my darling adopted auntie, she and my mum were best mates at college in, back in just a couple of years ago in 1939. So Auntie Betty, we've got your song, Abide With Me. Auntie Betty's 101 and uh, she's got a lot of experience in how Jesus through his spirit abides with her, a lovely Christian life of over a hundred years. So here we go. Um, greetings again to all of you and thank you for your choices. And we'll see if we can get these all together. Remember, trust and obey anywhere with Jesus and abide with me. I think we've got the men starting. When we walk. When, when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what glory he sheds on our way. What we do his good will, he abides with us still, and all who will trust and obey. Everyone now.
ladies. One more selection from over at, with our friends at Adventist Retirement, and this is from Pastor Dave Judd. Dave is 97 years old. He's given a lifetime of ministry and service to the Adventist Church, and he too has chosen a favourite hymn of Christian experience. But guess what, Pastor David, and I really hope you're watching and listening, because Albert Mata Arthur chose the same hymn that you chose. It's called Until Then, and it always comes up at Praise Hymn. I don't think we've ever had a single Praise Hymn where that hymn didn't come up as someone's favourite. So we're just so fortunate that Albert loves it too, Pastor Dave, so we want you to sit back and enjoy a special gift all the way from Mackay as Albert brings us the fabulous vision of Until Then. It is quite informal tonight, so do sing along in your seats.
So here's uh, our final chance for you to make some more choices. I couldn't imagine doing a praise hymn on the story of Jesus without doing a word search on the cross. So, of course, I did one and I immediately had seven all-time favourites. I'm keen to see how much overlap we're going to get this time. Um, Valmay, you're doing a pretty good job, I think, of uh, applying the Adventist sense of fair play, and I don't think you've taken second choices from anybody so far. So uh, there's a chance for a few more, and maybe this is the easiest search of all. Think about the cross in the title, in the, in the words, in the second, third, fourth verse. Bend your mind to that. And let's see what we come up with. I'm certainly looking for people who haven't had their hands up before. So just give me a moment to look around. I have to say, I sort of got in first this morning because I gave Lyle my favourite on this topic. And um, we are going to sing that soon. Um, a more um, contemporary hymn that just spoils and talks to my heart. I'm coming over this way. I've got a most lovely looking group of young people here. So who do I choose? I'm coming in here. Tell me your favorite with the cross. At the cross, La. Okay, at the cross. Beneath the cross of Jesus. I'm coming over this other side. I want a hand from a male and a hand from a female. Ruth, you got a favourite there? The old rugged cross. Let's see. 
We know that one. A gentleman, I think I saw a hand down here somewhere. Did I see anyone? Near the cross. That's Jesus, keep me near. Pretty good selection there, Lyle, isn't oh, there? Oh, fantastic. All right, we're going to vote. Hard to choose, I know. Dear me. Well, we've got a good amount of time, so we're let's okay. Let's see how we go. Yeah. All right, at the cross, hands up, please. This is a yes, and did. No surprise over this corner. of Jesus. Okay, yep. The old rugged cross. I just leave it there and say just the obvious one. <laughs> and near the cross. Did Jesus keep me near? Hands up. So what did you find out, Valme? The old rugged cross is certainly uh, okay. way, way ahead. That's our right. first choice. So, so let's just do that. Without any further ado, let's get right to it. On a hill far away. We're going to do a key change part way through. Probably have to sing all the verses, Steve. Just the ladies. What about the men now? Thank you. 
Amen. Lala's a group of people over here, a lot of younger people over this side here, and with several others, they um, asked for At The Cross, okay. which was the second top. All right, so we're going to do that, and then we'll get to Valme's choice. At The Cross, let's make sure there's one chord there that I one, need One, six, not three. To. Yes, I need to fix. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for those great choices. This is one more song. We've already had one tonight that was not in the hymnal, but that was because I think only of its great age. I don't know if I'd been an editor, we would have had the love of God is greater far in every hymn book from now till the second coming, I reckon. But we didn't get that one. We don't have this one, but that's because it was written far too recently. And our hymn book was launched in about 1985. This one was just written in 2006. And it's become a favourite. I found out that they sing this at Memorial Church. They certainly do up at University Church. In fact, we sang it a week or two ago at Homecoming up there. It's one of these um, uh, combined efforts of two wonderful modern hymn writers, Keith Getty and Stuart Townend. Stuart's got no idea that he's got a whole bunch of adoring fans called Townend right out here in Australia. At least I don't think he knows that, uh, that they're here. 
but he and Keith have written some of the loveliest songs um, I think you're all pretty familiar with um, In Christ Alone. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Keith Getty and Stuart Townend. And this one, The Power of the Cross. Just have a listen to this tune. I think you'll be fine with it. Okay, we've got two stanzas to uh, share with you, a key change in the middle. And at the end, we're going to repeat that lovely chorus twice. This the power. So get ready to sing that twice at the end. But here we are on um, the town end, get he beautiful hymn, the power of the cross. Thank you, you did so well on that one. I think we're uh, at the, oh, Valme. There was another hymn on the cross that will be just lovely if we have no piano with it. And somebody chose it, I think. Jesus, keep me near the cross. And Kevin Petrie up here in our vocal team loves it and loves the thought that we could do it without any piano. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Are you ready for this? This is our really quiet moment. Here we go. Jesus, keep me
I think it's really important to close out Praise Him with two parallel ideas, the cross and the coming. Theologians talk about these two ideas being like two centres of an ellipse. You know how an ellipse is kind of like a squashed circle and it's got two centres, one at each end. And in Christian theology, those two centres are the cross and the coming. Christianity suffers a major distortion when any of its children focus on the one and ignore the other. And you can think of some distortions, I'm sure, as you think back on your experience as a Christian and Christians that you have known. The cross doesn't make complete sense without the coming, but the coming can really be a matter of anxiety and terror unless it's undergirded by the foundation of the cross and of grace. So we'll have a medley of the hope of the coming of Jesus. And here's what we'll sing. First of all, something from authentic early Advent hope. Do any of you remember the Wedgwood Trio? My friend Jenny's here, and she remembers them really well. We spent some fun time with them when they came out to Australia. They, they, they're old and grey-haired now, but they've still got their guitar, their banjo and their slap bass. They live at Loma Linda, still sing. You can catch them on uh, YouTube even today. And they sang this great version of um, How Sweet Are the Tidings. Haven't got a banjo, a guitar and a slap bass, but we'll do fine with How Sweet Are the Tidings. Then we follow that with Face to Face, one of the all-time lovely hymns. And finally, When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. You know that one? So that's a lovely little medley. How Sweet Are the Tidings, Face to Face and when the roll is called up yonder. This, is, this will be fun. And this is really what is the heart of the Adventist understanding and identity. Properly undergirded by the gospel and the story of Jesus, this is a fantastic hope that the world needs to know about. How sweet are the tidings. Let's sing. How sweet are the tidings that greet the pilgrims here as he wanders in his love on Soon, soon will the Savior in glory appear and soon will the kingdom come. He's coming, coming, coming soon I know.
try that chorus again. Always hate to finish, but it is time to finish. Thanks to Memorial Church and the pastors and the volunteer staff for being such wonderful hosts. Thanks to Andrew Gibbons and team for technical support. And a big thanks to Wayne Thompson up in the control room for getting this whole thing safely across to the old folks' home over the way. They really appreciate it. Thanks to Rosalie Belford, Worship Coordinator at Memorial Church, and to Val May Hill, Associate Director of the Institute of Worship. Uh, thanks to our Praise Him vocalist. Didn't they make it easy for us to sing? They surely did. Thank you, all of you. Uh, thanks to Gaylene Heiss, who didn't mind our lounge room being totally dismantled to get this keyboard down here where it should be living in our home in Morissette Park. Uh, thank you, Gaylene. It'll be safely back on Tuesday. Would you like to thank Gaylene? Yeah. Big thanks to Albert Mata'afa, who now gets to sing the last word. But you can thank him for what he's done already, but he's coming back. The triumph of the cross, according to Albert, merges into the triumph of the coming when it dawns on all of God's faithful that they will now celebrate a new heaven and a new earth where there is no more night. Time to see earth and heaven will pass away. It's not a dream, God will make all things new. That day. i 
Let's pray. May the sound of our songs, may the words of our mouths, and may the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Good night and God bless. <laughs>